Hi guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Rudd Squad. It's episode number 59 and we're just going to crack on with some like SPCs and objectives and stuff like that today. Just a pretty much chilled episode, no gameplay in this one because obviously we played the weekend league which is heavy with gameplay. So we're just going to uh, complete marquee matchups, UA for marquee matchups to be exact to start with. Obviously saving the packs, we've got so many packs now saved up already for Team of the Year, which is going to be a madness. Honestly, I cannot wait to open them all on PS5, which is obviously, mine's coming at Christmas, which is going to be mental. Obviously, there's a new like, pack animation, sort of. It's a little bit different to PS4, uh, which is going to be interesting to see. So as you can see there, UEFA marking matchups is complete. I'm actually really surprised I were able to complete that because I had no one in the club. Um, hardly anyway. Uh, so, the first objective we've completed today is going to be Graven Birch or Graven Birch or whatever you want to say. I'm pretty sure it's Graven Birch. Honestly, this kid in career mode last year was mental. So, I already knew about this guy anyway, and he turned into a beast. So, I had to unlock this card just because of me playing career mode last year. Um, so, that's number one complete. We've also then completed the uh, Baumgartel, which is a centre back German, which obviously got German links and he's in the Eredivisie, so Dumfries, obviously Graham Virch, stuff like that. Here he is, the 83 rated man himself. Doesn't look too bad, might put him in a squad, you know, test him out in a friendly game, maybe at some point, you know, just get a load of objective cards in there um, and see, but yeah, looks decent. I've, al I've also used this guy, funnily enough, in career mode before. I you know, used him for Portsmouth, not like you'd care but you know just thought i tell you and then we also do the final reward which of course is going to give us an 84 rated uh, van bergen with 96 pace or is it 97 but it's 96 isn't it yeah 96 pace incredible um and here he is then i mean the agility is on point like the acceleration is fantastic the balance and it, 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 it looks a decent car, it looks a bit of fun to be honest, and I'm all about having fun on this game. That is why we play this game, we don't play it to have Varane, Mendy, Gomez and Semedo at the back. We play it to have some fun and enjoy whatever. And then we do come and, I mean, honestly, when I saw this card first, I was like, EA, are you feeling a bit dizzy? Why have you give us an 86 rated French left winger in the Bundesliga as an objective? Like, they're not normally that nice. So you've got to respect it. Thank you very much, EA, for this SBC. Not SBC, sorry. Uh, objective. Talking about SBCs. Lucas, very overpriced. Oxley chamberlain very overpriced. Felix, oh, he's probably a god. Um, anything else come out? There's Hector Herrera, who's all right. And then I think there's something else. I swear there's another player. But I can't remember. Um, so from these, like nice little uh, objectives we get some decent packs i mean there's an election players pack there hopefully that has like a, a team of the year messi for us maybe a team of the year ronaldo not don't really know who's going to be in team of this team of the year this year, the team of the year, year this year i cannot speak to save my life today i've just recorded a video and i've got to record another one after this i've got to record three videos today because i'm very busy uh, anyway coleman slides out there what a man and he's actually got a quality card uh, you can't lie, 95 pace, 80 shooting, 80 passing, it's not terrible. We'll bang like a catalyst or something on that, boost them two starts, and then 8 to 9 dribbling, which is fantastic. Could be a very good super sub, actually. Probably better than Delefeu, um, but we'll just have to see. We'll have to wait and see, find out for ourselves. Um, so, as you can see, it is a nice old four star skill with player. However, that three star weak foot may kill him. Uh, obviously, there's something got to be, be, be a bit bad. Uh, in the objective cards because that's why they put them in there they always seem to like have really sick stats or there's like a three star skills or a three star weak foot or um bad composure something like that. they always like to sneakily do something so here we go then these are all the objective players being complete so far by me literally every single one i'm pretty sure and i'm just gonna go through tell you if any have been good or not so molly not bad uh, he's not terrible, he's not great, he's just standard. Be good if you had a French side, but apart from that, nothing else. Delefeu, very good super sub. Uh, probably not a starter, but um, yeah, he's quite decent. Obviously got that 4 star, 4 star. Then Coleman, we've not used yet, of course. Bellerin, very, very good. Honestly, quality player set to Bellerin. Great sub centre mid. May even play him at right back, you never know. We'll probably just figure out the team. Mukiel is played for 195 times, just ever dependable. Gives away a few penalties sometimes, but he's quite good. Bojan, never really give him a chance. Yes, I've played 29 games with him, which is probably not enough. 
um, most off the bench as well. Correa and King about the same. King's probably better than Correa to be honest with you. Um, Van Bergen obviously we've not used yet. Jota's mental now. Like I've played one game and scored one goal, got one assist. Lima, very good sub, uh, sub centre mid once again. Could play him at left back if you've got that long. And uh, that's Boyan. Uh, Rodrigo, he's not really my type to be honest. He's not great. Four star, four star. He's alright. Kounde's mental, we all know this. And hopefully he gets an upgrade very soon. Long, not even used him yet. Bradley Dak, got a little bit of Bradley Dak. Sinclair's a good, very good super sub as a, like a wing back or a, a midfielder. And then I've not used them too. That Adu's obviously from level 15, so I didn't mean to put him in. Then we've got all the silver stars like Vidra and all that, and Akin Fenwa, who's the GOAT. So that's pretty much all the objectives. Obviously, there's a few more silver stars and stuff like that, but we've literally got every single objective card, which is kind of mad. Um, now we're going to just end off with a draft, to be honest with you, because this is a very insane draft, I can't lie. And we're going to play the games out in the next episode. So. What formation are we going to pick? Honestly, I'm in an R in between the 4 1 2 and 2 and the 4 3 1 uh, 2 1, sorry. But I'm going to go with the 4 1 2 and 2 narrow formation. And to start with, it's Mbappe. This draft is stupid. Like, watch this. You ready? You ready? And in for Marcus Rashford, that is probably the best strike force you could ask for. And then won't say Naka Messi? Nah. Do you know what we're going to get? It's Kevin De Bruyne, though. So it's still absolutely incredible. And then we just need like a Pogba, which we're going to get, which is a strong link to uh, Marcus Rashford. But of course, gets a good link as well into Mbappe. And then we're going to get ourselves a Thomas Party. He's so sick, honestly. The amount of times I've used him and he's just been on point. He's absolutely incredible. And a lot of pros are trying to, like, they're actually seeing that now. They're seeing that he's a very good player on this game. And they're picking him up and he's starting to rise in price. Then we'll go for the left back in Andy Robertson. Don't even think I've used him this year yet, which is um, interesting. Then we go for Van Dyke, man. I mean, what is this draft? Literally every single pick is such a meta player. Kyle Walker, he doesn't get any more meta than this, man. What well, we can get a right back? Oh, my days, we've got that Trent. I mean, what is that for a defence? Like, mental. And then in net, we, all, we even get an Edison, an inform Edison, which we have in the club red pick from the 86 plus, which I've not even used yet, I don't think. And then we'll just pick like Gazaniga. And I'm not going to lie, this bench is a little bit terrible. Most of them are like non rares Apart from an inform Mendy, which, you know, we can put in there. Uh, centre mid on like two chemistry uh, to start the game. And then, yeah, it goes to non rares for a bit. But there is a few more good players at the end of this. Um, just got to ride these non rares out. Um, here we go. There's another, another terrible pick. I mean, Bamba's not terrible. His player of the month just tears me up every time I use him. And like, every time he comes up against me, sorry. And then we're going to get Pordens. Very, very... Oh, he's so good. He's not even very, very... He's absolutely incredible. Then Kai Havertz pops out so you can put him in centre mid. Not there. I don't know why you'd do that. Uh, now I'm just having a bit of a bit of a spaz. Just maybe not plays about. Um, so you can start on six chemistry. And then we'll just do whatever. And then we get a Wilf Zaha. Which we could start bringing Mbappe on. But I do end up actually in the end deciding to go with Mbappe to start with. Uh, because it just makes more sense, doesn't it? All these blooming common ball cards are just popping out like mad, aren't they? These like man of the matches or whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what they are. Um, two more picks to go then. For this penultimate pick, we're going to get a Salah or a Diego Carlos, who we're picking here. Pretty sure we go with the, with the attacking option because, you know, it's just me. I like going with the attackers. Could have gone with Rodri there uh, for a strong link to, like, De Bruyne or something, but we're not going to. Uh, we are going to, in fact, going to go with um, Salah and then Igalo's the final pick. So, what we're going to do then, we are going to not put Mbappe on the bench. Uh, we're going to actually start him because, I mean, it'd be stupid not to. Look what we do here. We change it up a little bit. Um, I mean, this is taking quite a long time, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, Mendy's there. I mean, we could start Mendy, put Pogba um, there as well. And that's a nice strong link, maybe. Who knows? We just saw. I mean, this. Is, I like to do this because it just lowers the rating. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it lowers it that much, but. Like, you know, you just you just do it anyway, don't you? You just have the three subs that you need on the bench and then chuck all others in reserves. And then we'll end off with a manager, <laughs> Frank Lampard. Honestly, I, I never get a manager that's from the league that I need and I've got one there. Like, that just shows how sick this draft was. Oh, yeah, I've, I've entered 30 drafts this year, one being a free one. but So that's like 29 that I've entered, which is literally 435k. 
worth of players. Worth of uh, draft, sorry. Um, so this is how we're going to line up in game. And Bappe is going up front with Rash. We're going to pull Trent into midfield, I think. Get Kamara at um, get Kamara right back, and then bring Podens in at Cam, subbing that Pogba off. Um, because I don't know, I don't know about Pogba in this game. But that's actually not how we play, you know. Uh, we didn't sub Kamara on at right back. I just played Trent at right back. Um, but anyway, that is pretty much going to end off the end of the episode. So if you enjoy, give it a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll catch you next one tomorrow for the draft. Peace.